Well, he has done it. Once again, Tony Todd, the greatest scooper when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man news, has revealed some exciting developments when it comes to a standalone Venom game and possibly confirmed some other exciting details. That and much more exciting developments when it comes to Venom in Marvel Spider-Man is going to be covered in today's video. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please take a quick moment and leave a like. Thank you so very much for your support, and let's dive on in. The first major Marvel Spider-Man 2 update has come and gone, and the Marvel Spider-Man community is back to that feeling of wanting to see what is next. We really want to see an official announcement about either DLC announced for Marvel Spider-Man 2, or just official announcements about what do they have planned for the future of this particular gaming verse. Well. It seems like Tony Todd, who is, of course, the voice actor of Venom in Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Yes, we will. Where, yes, he did a terrific job with the monstrous Venom, has once again come to our rescue with the following developments. So for those that don't know, for a little bit of context, Tony Todd has previously leaked and revealed a bunch of information for Marvel Spider-Man 2 itself, whether it be the fact that he was doing a bunch of recordings for it, the fact that he went ahead and with tweets and interviews that he would do would reveal when we would start to get actual trailers for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and promotional materials before it actually was released or announced. And then, of course, in addition to that, he was also the first person to give us a concrete idea of when the game would actually release. So when you add all of that up together, clearly, 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 Tony Todd is like the Tom Holland of the gaming side of things, because just like Tom Holland reveals stuff for the MCU way too early, Tony Todd seems to reveal things for the Gamerverse side of things way too early. Now, what did he do this time? Well, this time around, he went ahead and retweeted a tweet that seems to confirm the standalone Venom video game, which is obviously pretty freaking exciting. I'm not the only one that is excited about this because, well, that tweet now sits at well over a million views and he seemingly has not actually gone ahead and unretweeted it. So I guess Tony Todd does what Tony Todd wants, and to be honest, I guess that's good news for the rest of us because we get to see news early, which is pretty exciting. Now, what actually did he retweet? Well, he retweeted the following tweet that says this. Details about the upcoming Venom game. Titled Spider-Man, colon, Venom. Venom will assume his lethal protector role, which is pretty exciting. I guess that would assume that Venom is now going to be truly kind of a good guy character or maybe an anti-hero would be the best way to describe that. Then Miles and Peter will be playable, which is pretty exciting to hear. Carnage is going to be the villain. It is a $49.99 video game, which means that it would seemingly be similar to something like the Miles Morales game, where it's not quite a quote unquote sequel title, but it's almost like a 0.5 entry, which I am perfectly okay with. Like if we can get to the point where we can get these games every two to three years and they retail for 50 bucks, I am perfectly fine with an eight to 10 hour campaign that feels and plays as well as the Miles Morales game. I am perfectly okay with that, but I'm curious to hear what you guys would think about that as well. It seemingly has a budget of $120 million, which I guess would be on the lower end when it comes to gaming nowadays. Yes, $120 million is actually on the low end, which I know sounds kind of crazy. And here's the bad news is that apparently this game would be aiming for a 2027 release, which is kind of stunning because for me personally, I thought that they would release a Venom game after Marvel Spider-Man 2, kind of as the in-between title between Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Marvel Spider-Man 3. But... It seems like this is going to be releasing all the way in 2027, at least according to this tweet and according to the fact that Tony Todd retweeted it. Now, of course, this does not outright officially confirm that Venom is getting his own game, but we do know that Tony Todd has previously said that he's going back in to record more lines for the monstrous Venom or clearly implying that that is what he's up to. So I'm guessing that he's recording voice lines for some project now. To be fair, a lot of us assumed that maybe he was recording stuff for a DLC that would feature Venom, but it seems like maybe they're going to go in the direction of making a full standalone Venom game. And to be quite honest, I cannot be the only one because the vast majority of the people that I talk to about Marvel Spider-Man 2 tend to tell me that their favorite level in Marvel Spider-Man 2 was either the Sandman boss fight, which is the very first level, or 
the Venom level itself. So I guess that based on the little bit of research that I've done, a little bit of the pulling that I've done, it seems like a Venom standalone game would be something that a lot of us would be very happy to see. But it also obviously kind of bums me out that we might have to wait until 2027 to do so. And additionally to that, it also bums me out that we won't get to see the development of the Carnage storyline possibly until 2027. Because of course, Marvel Spider-Man 2 does do a pretty good job of setting up Cletus as someone who will then become Carnage. And again, I myself thought that that would be something that gets covered in some form of DLC. But it seems like we will once again have to wait until the release of a standalone Venom game altogether. Now, on the more official side of things, Venom, or I should say Insomniac's Venom, will officially be making a return this June. However, it is only going to be in the comic book format. For those of you that don't know, Marvel has officially announced, because I know obviously everything we discussed up until now was pure speculation, although... Tony Todd has been very, very good about revealing things early that then turn out to be true, but th that's a story for another time. The point being, Marvel has officially announced that this June, as part of the Venomverse Reborn, holy moly, try saying that quickly five times, Venomverse Reborn, Venomverse Reborn, that's like legit a tongue twister. The anthology series from Marvel Comics that will be debuting in June of 2024 will feature the return and the first appearance of the insomniac verse venom inside of that storyline now as of right now the kind of details are a little bit vague as far as the concrete appearance of this venom and how it will take place but essentially the way that it's being pitched is that for those of you that don't know just recently in marvel comics there was an event where null who is the king of the symbiotes made his way down to earth and then he had a huge giant battle with a bunch of the different heroes of the marvel universe it was a big big deal and it played out as a huge event in the comics well apparently venomverse reborn is going to possibly re-explore that moment but this time bringing in a bunch of different venom variants from different parts of the universe to battle against null so unfortunately this is not going to be something that will actually develop the character inside his own universe this will be more so i guess them grabbing him from the insomniac universe and bringing him into the 616 comic book universe and having him fight against that null but it would be pretty freaking exciting if the way that they framed it is that while harry is in this coma that is when he kind of quote unquote like travels into the comic book universe i think that would be a really interesting way to kind of explain his adventures there and then maybe when he comes back if they could make a reference to it in his standalone video game that would be really cool to see as well so you can definitely bet your bottom dollar that i will 100 percent be picking up this comic book in june reading it and giving you guys the news and details about it so make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned for that update in addition to that let me know what you guys think of the possibility of a venom standalone solo game are you excited about that would you want to have venom as his own game or would you rather just have him appear as maybe a tertiary character in marvel spider-man 3 what would you prefer to see venom explored as in terms of video games i guess and of course in addition to all of that once again thank you guys so very much for your continued support if you can take a quick moment to leave a like thank you thank you thank you so very much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out see you later alligators